Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I had the new Mermaid High to open up and review with you guys. So this is Finley. She was my favorite out of the girls, so I got her. So let's get a good look at the box here. Let me turn my ring light down a little bit so we can get a better look at the box. So I love how this is in the shape of a bubble. So she's in a bubble and then she's got this nice um, glitter detail right here that looks like bubbles coming around and then we have this beautiful artwork love the artwork and I love the logo I love how it looks and of course it says you can watch on YouTube and then we have the holographic details around the box and then her name right here in the corner and then on the back it's very holographic and we have all the girls that are in the line so far the BFFs and then it tells you about Mermaid High, and this is by Spin Master. Um, so the other girl that I would love to get in the set is Mari, but I kind of plan on getting them all. Oh, I forgot this side. On this side of the box, we have another picture of Finley. She looks so pretty. So yes, let's get the box open. Hopefully it's not super hard to open. I'm not really sure how this box opens because I've never opened one of these yet, but I'm not really worried about destroying the box because I don't keep the boxes, so that's fine by me. So have you guys seen the Mermaid High um, YouTube series yet? I like it. I love the animations. But did you guys notice that the theme song sounds an awful lot like... Ever After High. I wonder if it was the same person who wrote the Ever After High theme because it sounds really, really similar. I mean, really, really similar. And I cannot get this box open. I don't understand how this box opens. It's like, why don't they give you perforated stuff so that you can open the daggone box? I mean, was it really that difficult to get it open? I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it wrong. I kind of want to keep the art on that side, so let me see if I can cut around it. Maybe. I'm just destroying my box. <sighs> I don't know. I'm doing something wrong. Obviously. I'm, yeah, not going to be able to keep that. Okay, that's fine. This box is freaking annoying. Who designed this box it's so difficult to open? I mean, there's no tape like around the box so you can cut to get it open. Like, you know how they usually have like the tape slips right here? There is none. So this makes the box really difficult to get open. And I don't like that because Stuff like this, you know, you want to sometimes keep nice or whatever, and you can't because the box doesn't open properly. And I still can't figure out how to get this doll out. And I'm ripping and ripping, ripping, I'm not even joking, ripping the box up. I haven't seen anybody else review these yet so I don't know if I'm doing something wrong as far as the box goes so and I just destroyed the beautiful background inside the box it shows their school in the back so sorry this had to be opened up this way I'm sure there was an easier way to open it but not according to my box it wasn't Goodness, I'm gonna spend the whole video trying to freaking open this box. I swear. Why? While I'm here, I might as well cut the um, things from the back of her head off so that we have that out. Yeah, I don't understand this box at all. And it was such a nice box, too detail was like so nice 
I need to watch what I'm doing with scissors because this is what happened last night with scissors. And it's like the second time I've done that with my finger and scissors. So me and scissors do not mix, apparently. So, gosh, look at this. And look, they have these ties to the back of the box here. So it's like even harder to get it open. Finally. <sighs> Seriously. So annoying. All right, Let's see if we can figure out these. I really hope this line does well because I like mermaids and it reminds me of H2O and you know I like that show. I love that show growing up. It's just, it's pretty much almost exactly like H2O cuz you know they they go they go uh to become mermaids and um they have to go to school with a bunch of teenagers and it's just interesting concept. I like it. I could just get her um, little pieces out. We'd be good to go here. But um, she's still stuck in the box. She does have some nice pieces, I will say. Oh, that's why she's stuck. Okay. She was stuck because she had a twisty thingy around her waist. Okay, now I just gotta get her arm out. Uh oh. And her little thing that doesn't want to come out. There. Oh my gosh. Seriously, look at this freaking thing. It doesn't want to come out. You can't even pop it out. All that for nothing. <sighs> so freaking annoying. Okay. We're done with that, finally. Ooh. <gasps> Her hair is so soft. So this is Finley. They all have kind of mermaid -y pun type of names. So, alright, hold on, let me get the ring light here so you can see her face better. Can we? This still doesn't look right. Okay, hold on. Down, down, down. There we go. Is that better? She has freckles on her face. She has green eyes. I love her face. Um, she's got a matte face, so her lips are matte. And um, she has these brown eyebrows, and they do have little details of hair in them. She has earring holes, and then on top she wears a crown with a starfish and some pearls, which I will probably end up customizing. And this is what her hair looks out of the box, and it's very, very boxy and gross, but it is really nice um, saran. It feels like saran to me. I don't know. It doesn't feel nylon-y, so that's really nice. Only took me 40, 50 minutes to get her out of the freaking box. Here's her shirt. She's got a rainbowy type of shirt, and it's this nice, um, what is this called? Tool? I think it's tool, yeah. Like a tool material. And then she does have straps, which are orange. And then her sleeves are actually, are they attached to her dress? Yeah, they're attached to her her um, top and it's like this silky fabric so it's really cool and flowy I like that and so they're like this puffy sleeve and her hair is really really long as you can tell all the way down to her legs her feet and she does have some orange streaks throughout so she must really love orange and then she has a starfish belt with some pearls which I will probably end up customizing and I love these little charms that they put on here this is kind of cute because I think she's, um, I'm not sure if she's the fashionista of the bunch. I'm pretty sure that's the brown brunette girl, but I could be wrong. And then her tail, 
I think I like her. I liked her a lot because she's very hippie like. She's like a hippie. See, she has like the fringe and it's real fringe, like real fringe. And then if you lift up her mermaid tail, it does have layers. So we do have some tulle underneath and then has this ombre effect from pink to purple to light blue. And then her, her feet are inside and they actually did sew up the bottom so that her feet will not come out. So she does have a mermaid tail. So that's really cool. And I'm not going to change her into her um, secondary outfit because I like her being a mermaid. But she does have articulation at the at the legs. So she can she can bend and sit. And there's no articulation at the um the ankle. But that's fine. And she does have articulation here in the elbow, but no wrist. I don't mind that. I know people some people do. And her articulation in her head so she can um, look left and right. Can she look up and down? Uh, no, she can't really look up and down. But that's okay. And her mermaid tail is super pretty. Like, the scales, they look like real scales. And it does go all the way around, which is a really nice detail. I love that. And I like how they did that. And she's like, super cute. And then she did come with her accessories which she came with this really cute bag, which, um, it is very, um, hang on, let's see if I can, it's got this nice, um, shine to it, I like that, and then it has the fake fringe, but it doesn't open or anything, but it's really nice, and she did come with her shoes, so when she becomes a human, she can wear her shoes, and the shoes are orange, with some starfish and some coral. You can see, you got some coral and some starfish. And it does look like, I thought that was an, oh, it's like a fishy fish, a little goldfish. I thought there was an anchor on there, but it isn't. I'll probably end up painting these to make them stand out more. And she did come with a shell brush comb. It's not a brush, it's a comb. And she did come with her student ID which I really like because that is really a cool detail because I I like when they have like fake little accessories like that because it's fun because it's like oh cool I have I have her I, she has her ID you know like I don't know I just think it's cool and then you can pause to read if you want to read what it says because I'm not going to read that and she did come with her little shell accessory which becomes a laptop if you open it and there's a way to open it. I don't know how it opens. There it goes. So yes, it opens into a shell top. <laughs> it's a shell top. And it does have a keyboard. And it has her calling her little friend. And then her little bag has her accessory in them. Which should be her earrings. Yep. Ooh, her earrings are cute. They have the little goldfish on them from earlier on her. On her um, shoes. I can't, can you see them? The little goldfish. So that's cute. And then her secondary outfit. You cannot change her shirt. But you can change her into these little adorable fringy shorts. Which are very hippie like. I love. Yeah. Super cute. And look she even has tool at the bottom of the shorts. Which is really cool. So yeah. I really love these. And if you love mermaids. You're going to love these dolls. And I love the concept. I really do. See how tangly it is? I'm trying to untangle her hair. But it's not exactly the easiest hair to untangle. So I'll end up brushing it and see if I can get some of those tangles out. Um, she's just really cute. If you like cute dolls, you probably would like her, like this volume. Like if you like cute, cutie things. But if you love mermaids, that's also another plus to this line but I love I like I just like high school dolls I don't know why I just I've always gravitated towards like whenever the girls are in high school that kind of thing I don't know I just like it because I guess it just reminds me of my life and how things were when I was in school and that kind of thing but yeah it's weird that the hair feels like it's feels like it's um like I said saran but then at the bottom it feels like nylon at the bottom, and I don't understand that. It's kind of weird. But, yeah. So, yeah, she she does do that. And if they continue this line, I just don't know how they're going to continue the line. 
unless they do like the girls like going to prom or like you know like different things I don't know she does have slight eyeshadow on her face you can't really see it because it's it's very pale it's almost the see you can kind of see it in the light here kind of shines a little bit it's like a pale white which brings out her eyes really well which is really nice and mine my my crown's already see look, my crown's already coming off I don't like that I don't like that at all it's ew look at this knot right here it's weird for the price point it's not really worth it to me because honestly the quality is fine it's fine but it just doesn't seem like $25 for these I just don't see how that the price point is maybe maybe $20, $20 or $22 but $25 I think it was 20 no it wasn't 25 it was 26 so basically $27 for these dolls I'm not really big on that price I think that's a bit high and she does have molded on underwear which look like scales which is kind of cute but I do like them a lot so I'll end up buying them regardless but I do hope they do well because I would love to see like different mermaids maybe like um maybe um some of their um, mermaid people that live in the ocean maybe that that they saw that these girls are going to high school and they thought oh well maybe we should try that and then like you know, it's a whole controversy thing where the queen of the mermaids doesn't, like, want all the mermaids to go on dry land and, like, this whole thing. It would be a really cool story, I think. But I really like them. So that's just my opinion. I think it would be really cool to have, like, a story behind the mermaids and how they, you know, did their thing. But what do I know? <laughs> but, yeah, the, the 27 price point, eh quality is just not there I mean it this is like a cheap cheap um plastic on the arm too but I don't mind the no joints so excuse me sorry it's cold outside and it's cold in my room because I'm in the basement so I'm sorry if I keep going off camera um but yeah I think definitely not worth the price point so if you can get them on sale that's great unless you're willing to spend the price point which I am so and that's fine because I think they're really pretty and cute and I'll probably only display them as a mermaid so I'm not gonna they don't come with stands or anything so in case you guys were wondering because they don't for that price point a lot of people will be like whoa what did they come with stands did they come with you know that kind of thing no they didn't come with that but, but I do hope they make like different characters and not just the main girls because I don't like lines where they just do the main girls and then like you can't like use your imagination like they look the same over and over and over and I don't like when they do that that's what I used to love about the brats because whenever they did the brats the girls never looked the same so you could totally pass them off as a different character but as far as like Rainbow High they're I love Rainbow High but the characters all look the same so in every line Ruby has red hair and Jade has green hair and you know it's not like changing it up and I don't like that because it's like the same character over and over and you're basically buying the same doll over and over I mean some people like that but me not so much because it's just like a lot of expense and a waste of money to me because it's basically the same doll over and over but hopefully they don't do that with these unless they do like really special edition dolls where they like change up the hair like say she she has like instead of orange streaks they give her completely orange hair or you know like really cool stuff like that would be really interesting to see how they would do that so yeah just throwing out ideas you know but yeah I keep trying to get these tangles out because it it annoys me but yeah so this is my review on the new mermaid high um Finley doll so I plan on getting the other dolls so I'll probably do reviews on them but yeah I would give them if I had to give them a rating, I would do an 8 out of 10 just because they are really nice and she's super cute. And they do come with a lot considering and they're not bad, you know, with their articulation and stuff. I think it's really nice. So, yeah, they're really well made. So, yeah, this is my review on the new um, Mermaid High. 
Finley Doll. So yes, thank you guys so much for watching. And if you're new here, please feel free to hit the subscribe button. Thumbs up if you like videos like these. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!